So a recent study done by Plan International estimates that 51 million babies are not registered at birth. I suspect that's right across the, the whole world. Join us to discuss the importance of having a birth certificate is a civil registration and statistics manager at the RGD, Monique Linqui. There's plenty of big words early in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hi, morning. Um, why would 51 million babies don't have a birth certificate? Well, across the world for several reasons. First of all, some persons might not be aware of the importance, so the mother doesn't go in to do the registration, mother or father doesn't go in to do the registration. In some countries, the civil registration system is not as robust as here in Jamaica, other places in the world. So there, there might be a breakdown in the system in, in capturing that person's birth registration. Yeah. I suspect if you're born in a hospital, it would be easy to find records, I suspect. Yes, it's, it's easier. Because what happens is that ho the hospital will have a record of that birth and right. that the hospital can say, yes, this person was right. born to this mother, the date of birth and, and those details. But I was born in a house. What, mm -hmm. what happens in a situation like that if I don't have a birth certificate and where you get the information from? Okay, say for instance, you're born at home, the baby is just born. What happens is that the mother is to go to the nearest registration center and she would have, in, in most cases, she would have a notification from a midwife. If not, she will take, say for instance, a, a letter from a JP saying that, yes, I know this person. She lives in the district and she recently had a baby. Those are easier. In cases where persons are adults now and they come to the RGD and they say, I have never been registered. First of all, we have to search all our records to say, we don't have any registration for you. Then the next step is that you will have to make a late, what is called a late registration application and you will have to produce certain documents such as if you have christening record, your immunization record, your school record, these will have your identity such as your name, date of birth and so forth. But in addition to that, you will also need um, declarants to say, yes, this person was born in Jamaica, this is his mother, this is his date of birth, and other details. So those are what we would use to carry out the registration for that person. Is paternity an issue when it comes to, to birth certificates? Paternity, well, we have made it easier for persons to add father's particulars. So if the baby is just born, once the mother and the father goes in front of the registration officer, and sign the form, or in some cases... So but what if the father says, if the I'm, right, I'm if the not going to put my name on this certificate, what happens? Well, let, let us go, for instance, if the father is away and he's willing to sign the no, sign a declaration. No, in there, your money, he does not want to sign no, I'm just paper. giving the op options for the persons. Okay. Right. So if the father is away, <laughs> yes. he can sign a declaration, yes, I am the father of the child. If the father does not, however, wish to accept paternity, mm -hmm. that is the, the problem. Which is which? Which we have. Which is why um, I raised it because right. I know it's a. So so what happens in that instance? Well, um, the mother can seek legal redress at the court if it is that she is saying that this person does not want to accept paternity. She can she can raise that matter with the court. But the, but but as far as the the birth certificate is concerned, what happens? Well, if it is that she goes to court, she gets a paternity order, court order, mm -hmm. she will, of course, come to the RG. So that process has to happen before. Right. Okay. Once, it, once the father is not willing, mm -hmm. then that, that is a legal matter. Do you, so, so what are the most common issues that you come across that, that have been a hindrance to persons um, getting themselves registered or, or, or that's been problematic for us as a people? Right. So, as I said, when, when the person is just born, it's easier. What is a problem is when you wait or you delay the process. If you have the documents that I mentioned, immunization, christening, school record, mm -hmm. it's an, and declarance is not a problem. But some persons come to us, they have none of these documents. And some, in some cases, if, especially if the person is above a certain age, they might not even have the, the required declarance. Mm -hmm. So in, in those cases, they would have to make a declaration or anybody knowing them would have to make a declaration just so that they can get their birth certificate. How would a school record um, let you know when I was born? 
No, it, it doesn't. Well, the school record has your name, your date of birth. And it usually know, has the person had, who... If I never had a birth certificate in the first place, you know, could I could tell the school anything. Well, that's, that, that would be, yes, that would be a, a legal... Um, it, it, it wouldn't be legal for you to do that. And we also advise the schools, if it is that they don't have record of this child, they cannot complete a school record for this person. Yeah. But the school record is basically to identify your name, date of birth, and... Sometimes it has the parent going in and registering okay. that person. I said 51 million babies at the start. What about locally? Where, where are we? Is it bad in Jamaica? A lot of us don't have birth certificates or what? It's not that bad. Um, it, in terms of registered persons, it's, it's between about 90%. Because we, we are aware that a lot of persons are still not registered. Mm. In terms of the younger persons, it is better. Because, as you know, as of, as of 2007, we had bedside registration. So we're actually in the hospitals doing registration. But a lot of persons that Prior are older, that. Mm. Right, they, may, they may still not be registered. Mm. So for folks watching now, 30, had 40, had 50, had don't have a birth certificate, what they need to do and what they need to bring when they're going to do it. All right. So when they come into the RGD... They would, of course, do a search, as I said before. Once it is that we search and we don't find a registration for you, because you may, you may be registered and, and, just, don't do, and just don't know. Mm -hmm. right. So if we do a search, we find your certificate, fine. If we don't find a certificate, then you need to do the late registration process and you would bring those documents as well as complete the declaration forms that we would issue to you. What are the challenges if you don't have a birth certificate? I know a lot of people, it's when it's time for them to travel. Then they say, oh, I don't have a birth certificate and their requirements. Um, if people start filing for them, and, and it's a problem. What are the things that you can't do here in Jamaica? Right. We, we, we realize, again, that persons will wait until they need the document. Mm. So what we advise you to do is get registered as soon as possible and apply for your birth certificate. So... In Jamaica and, uh, and worldwide, you need your birth, certi birth certificate when you're carrying the child to clinic. They will, uh, when you're registering at the clinic, they will ask you for the birth certificate. Mm. Even some pastors will require the birth certificate when you're christening the child. When it is that the child is going to basic school, primary school, you're going to require your, your child's birth certificate. When you're tra transacting business in general and you're, you need your, your ID, the, the birth certificate is the base document. So if you're applying for your driver's license, passport, electoral ID, yeah. if you're being employed at a job, you're going to ask for your birth certificate. Yeah. So if question. you have to access, access um, social services, you're going to need your birth certificate. Final question, how long is the process? For late registration? To get the birth certificate itself. How long is that process? If, you, if you're already registered, it's, it's, it's quite short. So you can apply for three-day service, seven-day service. But if you're not registered, Depending also on how quickly you come in with the documents, it will depend on how quickly we can give you your certificate. Okay, thanks for coming. Thank you, Moni. Thank you for having Registration me. Registration and Statistics Manager at the RGD, Monique Lin Kui. Uh, before we go, I just wanted to correct something uh, because earlier we said that Junior Tucker did a cover off um, Mr. Telephone Man. It was actually originally recorded by Junior and Tucker. And someone covered it. And then New Edition covered it. All right. So come. Just a I remember I was the other child. Make, next year, you're, you're going to sign the paper for the twin them when we go to the RGD. I'm going to carry your go court. I'm just telling you. Uh, if you was in the air, all right. Money, please don't, don't laugh, money. It, it's not funny. But it's not a joke why money, Claire. So why you bring our business into the public domain? No, much of it. I'm going to tell you from now. No, we're still lawyer time. <laughs> <laughs>